And several races are on the ballot this morning for Vermont primary elections. Live, Lily is out live to preview some of today's races. She joins us from the Queen City. Good morning, Lily. Good morning, Bo. Good morning, Alex. I am actually out live in Colchester this morning. There was a little bit of a last minute switch up there. Sorry about any confusion. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see, let me step a little bit out of frame so just you can get the idea. But it's pretty active up here this morning, even though polls are kind of just starting to get open. I believe this polling location opened at 7 a.m. And just so everybody knows, most polling, all polling locations actually across the state of Vermont are open until 7 p.m. So you have plenty of time to get out today and vote. But yeah, as you can see, people are already starting to get out, show their support. We have some people with signs, which is great and the parking lot which is behind you so you can't see is pretty almost pretty full it's a big parking lot so it's a lot of people out there um, we have a couple of different races on the ballot for today but one of the biggest ones is the race for lieutenant governor um, in the race for the state's second highest office incumbent david zuckerman is seeking a fourth term thomas renner is running against him renner is the deputy mayor of winooski and he previously served as an aide to senator patrick Leahy. And on the other side of the ballot, Gregory Thayer and John Rogers are running for the Republican nomination for lieutenant governor. Thayer is an accountant from Rutland, where he previously served as alderman and the chair of the local Republican Party. This is Thayer's second time running for the state's number two. He lost the Republican primary in 2022. John Rogers is a former Democratic state rep and a senator from the Northeast Kingdom. He served eight years in the House and six years in the Senate, excuse me. Now this year's primaries are only seeing a few contested races, so it's not as active as last year. Um, some polls opened as early as 5 a.m. And again, well, like I said before, all of them close at 7 here in Colchester. The doors, clo the doors opened at 7. Um, and we will have more election coverage for you throughout the day and for more coverage throughout the whole day. We have the morning throughout the whole day. Be sure to tune into Fox 44 and ABC 22 tonight. And we also hope to have some of the results up on our website, mychamplainvalley.com. I'll see you guys in a little bit, but for now in Colchester, Lily Sakaniwa, Fox 44 News.